Viral Science, the home of creativity. This video is sponsored by Ultium 365. It's a very good PCB designing tool and Octopart which is a very good and fast search engine for electronic components. Hey friends, welcome back to another video and wish you all a very happy new year. I hope everyone is good and you're watching me after a very long time. So here I am and in this video I'll show you how to make this smart plant monitoring system. So this is a project which I have made few years ago but now this one has little more upgrades and this works with the new Blink IoT platform. So this was the request from many of my subscribers. So here is the project and you can download the codes and circuit diagram from the website. Link will be in the description down below. So let's get started with this video. So here is our project smart plant monitoring system which works with the new Blink IoT platform. And over here you can find all the data on the smartphone as well. It's the Blink application and even you can view the same thing on the web dashboard as well. So the sensor we have used is the PIR motion sensor for any animal activity. Then we are using a DHT11 temperature humidity sensor. Then we have a soil moisture sensor. Next we are using a relay module to turn on and off a water pump. So instead of water pump I have connected a DC motor just to demonstrate the water pump. Then we are using a battery to power the water pump. And then we are using a 16 into 2 I2C LCD display to display all the values from the sensors. So we can see temperature, humidity, soil moisture, motion detection and water pump. So this was the complete project and it runs with ESP8266 board. And you will also find a water pump button to turn on and off the water pump manually. This button also gives the real time feedback on the application as well. So that was the complete project. Now in the mobile application you can see the data of temperature, humidity, soil moisture and you will find button to turn on and off PIR sensor. So when I turn it on and if any motion activity detects then you will get a notification on your smartphone and even a red light glows on the application. It states that some motion is been conducted. Next you will find a button to turn on and off the water pump. So to make this project you will need a ESP8266 node MCU board. This is DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor. This is a PIR motion sensor. This is soil moisture sensor. Then you will need a relay module. This is 16 into 2 I2C display, a push button, a water pump, breadboard, this is 7.4 volt 18650 battery and you will also need some jumpers. Now follow the circuit diagram and make your connections. So first we will be connecting all the grounds from all the sensors to the node MCU board. Next we will connect all the positive power connections to 3.3 volt. And the relay will be connecting to the VIN pin so we can directly get the 5 volt power from the USB. And now we'll proceed with the rest of the digital pin connections and analog pin connections. So till you finish the circuit connections, let's look at the sponsor of this video. Ultium 365 Designer is an amazing tool with lots of features that makes PCB designing very easy and fast. 
you can share your PCB designs with a click to your teammate and they will receive an email with the link where they can easily view the designs using the browser and comment the reviews and corrections on the project itself. Ultium 365 is a full build package and requires no additional licenses. And with the Octopart linked with Ultium, you can get real-time insights and the data of all the components. It's the fast search engine for electronic components and you can find each minute detail of the components in it. Links for the free trial Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart is in the description below so you can check it out. So now step by step we'll do the connections according to the circuit diagram which we created. So after completing the connections, connect the ESP8266 board with the computer. So now go to the website bling.io, log in with your email address and over here we will create a new template, we will name it smart plant. We will select the board as ESP8266, connection type Wi-Fi and we will give the description. Now we will proceed. Now over here we will go to data streams and we will add new data streams. So we will select virtual pin. And now we'll add temperature. We'll select the V0 pin for the temperature and data type will be double. Check the decimals if they're correct and the max value will go to 100. Now we'll click on create. So similarly, we have to create the data streams for all the sensors. So now we'll add for the humidity. Next, we'll add for the soil moisture. Make sure you select the proper virtual pin. Next we'll add a water pump. So for this I'm using virtual pin 12 and the minimum and maximum value will be 0 and 1 because we are just toggling it as a switch. Next we'll add is PIR motion sensor again this will be a switch so minimum maximum value will be 0 and 1 next we'll add is the motion this will be for one LED which we'll be adding in our dashboard and the virtual pin will be V5 again this will be 0 and 1 so this is how we have added all the data streams now we'll go to events so here we'll click on add new event and we'll name our event so you can name anything just make sure whatever you name it just you need to copy it and add in the code so i'm adding pir motion we'll set it as warning add a warning message and we'll select these two buttons and we'll trigger every event after one minute to avoid multiple events We'll enable notifications, email to device owner, push notification again to device owner and we'll check on this as well, deliver push notification as alerts and we'll click on create. So now just copy this name, whatever you have written, event name 
go to the code and on this line you need to add the same event name in the code as well so it will trigger this event now we'll go to web dashboard and over here we'll add gauge so we'll add three gauge for temperature humidity and soil moisture then we'll add two switches one for pir and one for water pump and then we'll add one led if any motion is detected then led will turn on so we'll give the title of the first gauge that is temperature we'll select the virtual pin and we'll set the color similarly we'll add for humidity and now for the soil moisture now we'll do settings of the switch so this is a PIR motion sensor turn on and off switch so values will be 1 and 0 this is the second switch for the water pump same value will be 1 and 0 and this is the LED for the motion detection so we'll set it to red bright and we'll click on save so after completing the web dashboard we'll add it a new device so we'll click on from templates and we'll select the smart plan template which we just created so on this pop-up you will find this authentication id copy it and paste it in the code then on the next line you will need to enter your wi-fi name and the wi-fi password so we'll upload the code later first we'll complete all this so from this web dashboard you can see the real-time data and similarly we'll configure for the mobile as well. So we'll download this Blink IoT application and sign in with the same email address. Now here you'll find your project smart plant template. So here we also need to add all the widgets which we added for the web dashboard. So again we'll add three gauge, two buttons and one LED. So now we'll configure all this. First will be the temperature then in the settings you can enter the name you can set all these fonts and configurations next we'll add is the humidity next will be the soil moisture So next we'll configure the switch so this is the PIR switch you need to change it to switch then you can give the name select the font size you can even change the color and you're done next we'll configure the LED just select the color you want enter the title make it a bright red next we'll configure the water pump again you need to change it to switch give the title you can change the color and with the font size so now we are also done with the mobile application dashboard so now it's time to upload the code so this is our code so we have added the authentication code wi-fi name and the wi-fi password and we also added the event name on this line so everything is done now we need to just select the board so we are using node mcu asp 12e module we'll select the board and now we'll just upload the code So I've set up everything on this MDF board and the system is booting up and here we go. So it started fetching the data from the sensors and also sending the data to our Blink IoT application. So you can see the real time data on the application as well. So this is the complete project. So now let's see the demonstration. So in this display you will see the data from temperature sensor, humidity 
then soil moisture sensor motion detection and the water pump so everything can also be seen on the mobile application and the web dashboard as well so you can control the water pump from the mobile application as well as you can control it from the manual switches over here and this sends the real-time feedback to the application as well so you can see the status is off right now you can also see the data received from the dht11 sensor that is temperature and humidity then now i have turned on the motion sensor so when any object passes in front of the motion sensor it will trigger an notification so you can see the notification motion detected and you can also see a red light glowing on the mobile application that indicates the motion is detected so now i'll turn it off So now it will not detect any motion. So you can see it's off on the LCD display as well. So now let's test the soil moisture sensor. So I've not got the real soil, so I'm using water to demonstrate it. So as soon as I remove the sensor from the water, you can see the value is zero. And as soon as I put it into the water, you can see the change in the value. That is 38, 39, 40, it is changing. So this is how the soil moisture sensor works. So now we'll again test the water pump. So I've pressed the manual switch and you can see the real time feedback on the application as well. It's turned on. Again, I press the switch, it will turn it off. So friends, I hope you like this project Then do hit that like button, share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos and I'll see you in the next one. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.